I don't like your dressing gown. I'm sorry, I didn't realize you were coming on tonight. Take it off. I don't like your pajamas either. something you have overlooked. What? I, I, I love you. I love you. Now you fool. What, what? Lock the door. Wait! 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 Just stay where you are. I can't return home with crumbled clothing. Am I disturbing you? Oh, my dear boy, of course not. No, not in the least. Gwenda's just coming down. She had breakfast on a tray. It was pretty late before we got to bed last night. Oh, and was Gwenda able to get in touch with her relations in New Zealand? I don't think Aunt Alison quite realised it was the middle of the night here. But what you said to Gwenda was quite true. It seems her father took her to England after her mother's death, and on the way over he met a young woman on the boat and married her in London. Oh, a stepmother? And did Aunt Alison recall her name? I gather she walked out on him quite soon. That's why Gwenda was sent to New Zealand. But Aunt Alison did remember one thing. They had a house in Devonshire. Dartmouth she thought it was, but it could have been Dilmouth. So that all fits. And did Gwenda explain to Aunt Alison why she was making all these inquiries? She said something about having a strong feeling she'd been in England before, but the line wasn't too hot. La Chatel. Did he say how the parents described Kimberly themselves? I think they had described her as a naughty little girl. What did he say about plans for the future, or anything? He requested that the parents get Kimberly medically examined, which they agreed to. Now, Mr. Ruddock has said that the assessment he formed then was a view that Kimberly's problems were behavioural in nature and that child abuse was a second possibility which did not require immediate action by definitive means. That was your view as well at the time. The main problem was it was behavioural. 
Where did you think this medical examination would take place that the parents had agreed to? I phoned Mrs. Carlyle to try and arrange a visit with the family. She told me that she was in quite a hurry as they were going off to Liverpool that morning and it wasn't convenient for me to visit. She was lying, wasn't she? They never went to Liverpool. Say, Rose.